OpenAI, which is the company that makes ChatGPT, submitted a statement today to the UK Parliament saying that it would essentially have been impossible for them to train ChatGPT without using copyrighted material. This is just the latest development in what has been a long-running debate that's happening in and outside of the courts right now around whether or not OpenAI is plagiarizing content or violating copyright. Now, I made a joke on Twitter today where I was trying to highlight the absurdity of the argument, that they're trying to basically back into saying that this law is invalid because they couldn't create their company without violating this law. And this is kind of like saying, I can't be a multimillionaire without robbing a bank, and so therefore I should be allowed to rob banks so that I can be a multimillionaire. I also drew a comparison to the cryptocurrency industry, which is something I follow very closely, and which likes to say that they don't have a viable business model without breaking some of the securities laws and other financial laws that are in place, which to them is somehow an indictment of the laws and not of their business model. But that's a separate point. Anyway, I had a lot of people responding who seemed to be sort of questioning the idea of copyright for the first time. And I just wanted to try to make sure that people who might be hearing these arguments for the first time know that these are not new arguments and that they have not spawned from the questions around AI that have been popular in the last year or two. Questions around copyright and more generally around reproducing material that other people have created go back forever. I mean, these are conversations that people were having when the printing press was invented. I would point you to some of the legal battles that happened during the sort of piracy era when Napster was becoming big, and there were huge lawsuits from groups like the RIAA, which is a huge force in the music industry. There are entire movements based around this question, the free culture movement being one, some people may know of the Pirate Party. And so I would definitely point you towards some of their activism, because these are really important questions to be asking. I think it's really important that we balance the rights of creators with access to information with the ability for corporations to profit. Copyright and other forms of intellectual property law are pretty flawed, as with probably any branch of law. They have absolutely been abused by big corporations in the past, and they have been weaponized against creators. But they also help creators to protect themselves and their livelihoods and make sure they can keep producing creative works. I would just urge you, especially if you're hearing these conversations for the first time, to just do a little bit of critical thinking and question where some of these arguments are coming from. Some of these corporations have already started putting a ton of effort into modifying copyright law, rolling back some of the protections for artists and other creators. We need to be really careful about if and how these laws are modified, especially with tech companies like OpenAI and some of their supporters starting to co-opt the language of artist empowerment and reference the abuses of copyright by big corporations in the past, it can really muddy the waters around what they're trying to do. And we need to be really careful when looking at copyright law that we are not enabling them to further enrich themselves at the expense of artists and consumers alike. It's absolutely true that there are problems with copyright and other forms of intellectual property law. I, probably more than most, support open access and the freedom to reuse, reproduce, remix other people's content. But I'm really cautious about arguments for rescinding some of the protections of copyright law or even abolishing copyright altogether when it seems motivated more by profit and the ability to create new information silos rather than to protect creators, enable open access, or reduce the amount of power that large corporations have to abuse copyright against individuals. 